sure this one last time, so I really love the support on this one as well. Okay, well, it seems like Netflix is always the fan favorite, so I guess we should jump into Netflix first and see if there's anything new or anything I've been watching recently. Let's see what's updated on Netflix. Alrighty, looks like uh, Beverly Hills Cops is what they are pushing on us today, which is not bad. Beverly Hills Cops. That guy is that is Eddie Murphy. This guy, or the guy that was back there, was the also the uh, the stepdad in the movie um, Santa Claus. Santa Claus. He's in that movie as well. But yeah, Eddie Murphy does a really great job here. If you're a fan of Eddie Murphy and uh, like his comedies, maybe watch that movie. It's a little bit more serious, but still a very funny movie. Um, oh, speaking of comedies, I don't know if this is actually on her last time, but this is like such a childhood classic for me. It's I don't know if you guys can see this. It's Fat liar, what do you can see down here? Big fat liar. Um, just uh, a movie with uh, Frankie Muniz and Paul Giamatti. Definitely a good actor there. About a kid who writes a essay that basically gets in the hands of a um. Sorry for that car going on in the background. <laughs> gets in the hands of I think a director, and the director takes this kid's paper and makes a movie out of it, which is kind of crazy. Uh, by the way, if you see me, like, transitioning to different movies ever so often, uh, it's because if I sit on this too long, or don't cover it, or do something with it, uh, I can actually get this video demonetized and, like, copyrighted because this is technically showing part of a movie. It kind of sucks, but this one is. That's what we got going on here with the, by the way, we're in the comedy movies section always what I go for. Speaking of always what I go for, look at these two great movies from this one juggernaut in the comedy scene of Will Ferrell in the, oh, sure you guys down here, Land of the Lost. Made you do that as a nine, trapped in a parallel universe, an eccentric scientist and his two friends must outwit dinosaurs and bizarre creatures while searching for a way definitely such a weird movie. Uh, I remember actually watching this in the movie theater back in 2009. Weird concept. Very funny. Doesn't make sense. Such a random movie in time, but is it a Will Ferrell classic? Probably not, but it's a good one. This one might be a very underrated Will Ferrell movie. It's kicking and screaming. If you're a big time football or soccer fan, this one was made back. 2005. It's basically just basically, uh, I keep saying basically, sorry. <laughs> it's a movie about a soccer coach or football coach that challenges his father that his soccer team will be better than his. I think that's Beans from that uh, Even Stevens movie. It's very funny. It's about a sport. So, of course, I've seen it. It's not too shabby. Let's see any other movies that we haven't really let's take a look. A close look. Oh, recently added, we have the Batman movie. The Lego Batman movie is number six today in the top ten, which is pretty fire, not gonna lie. This is actually, some people say, a pretty canon Batman movie showing the true colors of Batman, which is kind of interesting. Um, I don't think I've actually ever seen this Batman movie. I'm definitely gonna watch it now, because it is obviously, of course, recently added, which is fun. Uh, Flushed Away, I think we've talked about before, we've shown before, but also just a very classic, at least for me, childhood movie made back in 2006. Some people always think that this is actually a Disney movie, it's not, it's actually a DreamWorks movie. So, like, um, Madagascar and that whole squad of movies. Also recently added is The Tooth Fairy with <laughs> your boy Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Yeah, if you're a WWE fan, uh, The Rock once played the Tooth Fairy back in the year 2010. In this family comedy, a hockey player, another sports movie, who would have thought, becomes the real life Tooth Fairy after disappointing a young child. You can't handle the tooth. Um, the movie sucks. It's not good. Can you actually see, like, the ratings of the movies? You can't. All you can do is thumbs it up and thumbs it down, but yeah. Pretty crazy. <laughs> Pretty crazy. We're not going to show the movie, obviously. Uh, Baby Driver. I, I am still not too sure why this is in the comedy movie. 
comedy section. I think it's more of like a maybe a uh, a comedy drama. Just about a, a driver. Uh, it's a heist movie as well. And the guy loves listening to music. This is a very heavily music uh, movie. So if you're uh, a person who likes a soundtrack, Baby Driver is a very heavily well, very heavily music movie. Um, here's some other uh, random ones. Uh, Space Jam. I don't think we've ever actually talked about this movie on the channel ever, but yeah, Space Jam, a new legacy back in 2021. LeBron James, of course, follows in the footsteps of uh, Michael Jeffrey Jordan and makes his own Space Jam movie, which is just so random. We have The Breakfast Club, definitely a classic, coming out back in 1985. I'm pretty sure everyone has seen this movie. If you haven't seen this movie, and you say you like movies or you enjoy just movies, The Breakfast Club is like a classic. Like that, that is like a movie I think everyone should watch. It is a classic, especially for a maybe like a young high school kid or someone in high school. Um, you know, helps people understand other people. The yeah, acting in it is kind of funny seeing it now back in the uh, looking back at it, but it's pretty solid. Oh, another they're just adding all the the Lego movies. It seems we have the classic Lego. I think there's a second one. Isn't there a second, a number two Lego movie? I'm, I'm pretty sure there was, if I can be honest with you, but I don't remember. Oh no! Leaving soon is Christmas with the Cranks. I really like this movie. Apparently it's based on a book, which I never knew, but really solid. Christmas movie, comedy, Tim Allen, very funny. I enjoyed it a lot. Tired of the holiday hubbub. Do empty nesters decide to skip Christmas? But they can handle the fallout. But can they handle the fallout from their family and neighbors? It's pretty funny. And yeah, there's sort of recent ones. Uh, Mainly Wings of Time in the West is recently added. I'm kind of just showing you guys like the recently added movies. Oh, the interview is actually leaving, which is sad. Oh, this movie's also super new. Yeah, 2023. This is, a uh, dumb money. It's basically just a movie about the people who started investing in GameStop. Yes, the crypto... No, not crypto. It's the, uh... What's it called? The stock of, uh, of GameStop. And basically, it's a, it's a movie about how that blew up and this guy became a multi-multi-millionaire overnight and kind of based off of me which is kind of funny anyways um that is kind of all i wanted to show you guys on the netflix side or kind of on the the news section some animes oh uh, welcome to marwin this is actually steve carell drama movie where he uh it's kind of a guy who kind of goes a little cuckoo crazy reality and fantasy begin to blend in this dude's life and it's actually kind of an interesting movie um, one movie I do want to see with him is Beautiful Boy with Timothy Chalamet and Steve Carell. But this one, I think I'm definitely going to watch this movie for sure, for sure. A lot of animes being added. A lot of shows from around the world. How I Met Your Mother, I think it's always been on here though. But that's definitely a show nine seasons long that you can definitely just have in the background. Kind of like a friend's um, that 70s show style vibe. I'm actually glad it's on here. I think I am going to binge it. Now I hear it's actually does, it actually doesn't, it ends kind of poorly, but what show it ends good. Okay, let's actually just skip on and head on to the next thing. Oh, Tires is also a show. I saw a lot of you were talking about. It has a couple of like famous TikTok guys and people you've probably seen on social media. <laughs> uh, basically in a edgy comedy series of an auto shop manager that grapples the workplace shenanigans along with his dysfunctional team. It looks like an office style of thing, like a real workplace, like a docu-series. That's what it looks like to me. I might have to watch this one as well. Okay, next, next app. All right, I think we're gonna save Hulu for last, but we're gonna have a little intermission of Disney Plus because uh, I rarely ever really talk about Disney Plus nowadays because it's just, Kind of irrelevant. I remember, man, when this first thing came out, I was on Disney Plus almost every single day, and now I'm only on it a couple times a month. It's almost to the point where I need, I might need to cancel it until some good stuff comes on. But 
there have been some good drops, but recently, man, it's been kind of dry. Um, let's see what they got. Oh, they have Inside Out, but they have, of course, preparing for Inside Out 2, which I actually have not seen. You guys know I am a Disney guy. I do like Disney, but I still haven't seen Inside Out 2. I think I might see it sometime over the weekend or as a day I have free, which is rarely ever. But I hear it's actually pretty bad. Uh, sorry, I hear it's actually pretty okay slash good. It's not a bad Disney movie, which is kind of rare to find nowadays. Uh, Doctor Who. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the Acolyte. Uh, speaking of something that's not doing well, is this show. It has a bunch of reasons why. Some people say it's for one thing. Some people say it's for another thing. But it's almost a common ground of the show did not live up to the hype where it comes to story or plot or things like that. It really is not performing well. I have not seen it because I am someone who likes to binge a little bit when um, watching a show. So I'm going to wait for a couple episodes to come out before I can really get my teeth into my own prediction on this thing. There's only right now currently four episodes. I might wait till there's like five or six and then just binge the series. But yeah, it's just not really doing all that well for a plethora of reasons, apparently. I'll watch it myself. I'll get my own predictions about it, but I'll have to see. Lion King, Spidey and Friends, The Avengers, Toy Story 4. Apparently they are making a Toy Story 5 at some point in time. Uh, let's see here. Ooh, actually, this is actually a very underrated Adam Sandler movie in Bedtime Stories. Um, a Hotel's Handyman. Uh, bedtime stories go from fantasy to reality. It's actually pretty, pretty fire movie. I'm not gonna lie, very underrated. Um, Adam Sandler movie. Definitely, can I remember going and seeing that at the movies? Newly added, not a lot. They have the acolyte and then a bunch of random stuff. That's what I'm saying. Like, there's nothing really being newly added to Disney Plus. They have Edward Scissorhands, which is kind of cool. That's something. Uh, they have some stuff on the uh, rides uh, to different Disney parks over there at Hong Kong Disney, which is really cool. Even though I am a Disney fan of like, the movies and stuff, I think the biggest fandom I am of Disney is the theme parks. I love going to Disneyland. I've still never been to Disney World, but uh, I love the Disney parks. I think that's the biggest fandom I would say I have for Disney. Oh, they have Tomorrowland, which had George Clooney in it, that kind of flopped. And just a bunch of nothing. Oh, wow, Epic. Well, I guess I was about to say Epic was a Disney-made thing. No, I think it was Fox that made it. And obviously now, Disney owns it, which again is, wow, Ice Age is on here. Spies in the Skies, Rio is now on here. Because Disney bought uh, companies, of course, that <laughs> they're trying to get that uh, monopoly. Uh, they, they bought those... Uh, what do you want to call them? Companies, I guess. But, uh, yeah, that, that is really about it. Really sad. Disney Plus has been really disappointing recently, but we'll move on to the next thing. Alright, probably the last thing, because I realized I'm making this video a little bit longer. Maybe I'll keep going. We'll have to wait and see. Uh, on Hulu. Looks like the thing they want us to see mostly is a show called Shorzy Season 3. Never heard of it. Kind of cool. Uh, Kitchen Nightmares. Uh, I've, I've talked a lot about this man, Gordon Ramsay, a lot, which is actually kind of scary what happened to uh, Mr. Gordon Ramsay with his uh, biking accident, kind of left him in the hospital, 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 which is scary, but he seems to be fine, but I do support Gordon Ramsay, I love his shows. Uh, we have Catfish, the TV show, definitely a good show just to have one in the background. Um, it's kind of just like a random, <laughs> random show, that's for sure. But uh, I always say this whenever I do these videos, guys, I'm not a TV show person. I don't really watch a lot of TV shows. That's just who I am. I do like movies a lot, which brings us to uh, the movies we have here, like Click, which, my God, Monopoly, talking about Monopolies, Adam Sandler and Will Ferrell even, with the Anchorman also monopolizing the uh, world of uh, um, streaming services with Click. Oscar nominee, I'm assuming maybe for comedy movie of the year or something like that, if there's an Oscar movie, or an Oscar award for that. Um, well, 
was this movie made? I'm gonna assume like 2004 or 2006. Uh, is this like workaholic architect finds a universal remote that allows him to fast forward and rewind to different parts of his life, but complications, I'm gonna assume complications occur, which um, it does happen. Christopher Walken's also in that movie. And then Anchorman, of course, is one of the greatest comedy movies of all time. In my opinion, it's like, it's like a top three comedy. I think Step Brothers, Anchorman, and you could like throw in like a random other really, really, really good one. But in my opinion, Step Brothers and Anchorman are like locks for my top comedy movies of all time. I love this movie. Every time I watch it, it's hysterical. Will Ferrell, Paul Rudd, Steve Carell, Christina Applegate does very well as the uh, co-anchor to the show, uh, or movie, sorry, it's, that's insane. Now we have Armageddon, which is a classic movie, which is kind of funny they have that on here, but, uh, Armageddon, it's an, it's an alien movie, and they have Aquaman, Ferris Bueller's Day Off, whoa, wow, they have a lot, this movie was kind of recent, coming out in 2019, it's an escape room horror movie, it's basically, obviously, a, an escape room, but everything inside the escape room is, you know, not very nice if you stay in there for too long, so obviously you're trying to escape, but, uh, yeah. Anything else? Um, continue watching. Yes, I do watch a lot of The Amazing Race. I talked about it recently in a, uh, a video of mine that I love The Amazing Race. It might be my favorite, like, one of my favorite shows of all time. Definitely my favorite, like, reality TV show. Um, I love it. I love watching the people run around and get into arguments and travel the world, see good things and stuff, and stuff like that. It's it's a really good one. Um, Dodgeball, also a very underrated movie in the comedy scene. I feel like a lot of people forget about that one. But the top 15 today for Hulu, we have The Perfect Wife, The Mysterious Disappearance of Sherry Pat Babini. Babini, I've, I've never heard of her, but... That's the number one. Of, of course, true crime is a very popular thing. People love the Kardashians. Obviously, of course, you have the very famous ones. And the Jenners are also in here as well. Man, this show is still <laughs> going. Devil's Peak. Master Chef Generations. That looks kind of cool. Oh, Bratz. Uh, it's actually a docuseries about the movies that we saw recently of the Brefix. Brefix. Uh, it's about the actors and kind of how they kind of went off in their separate ways. Some of them do really large successes. Some of them do other parts of the Hollywood lifestyle. And yeah, kind of sad, kind of interesting. Uh, I don't know, hospital, food stars, clipped. Oh yeah, this is the uh, Los Angeles Clippers docu series where it actually. Well, it's not a docu-series, sorry, it's a biography drama, which is actually a very good thing to say about this, because it's not very accurate, it's very drama, you know, there's a lot of crying and yelling and screaming and very dramatic scenes, um, Lawrence Fishburne actually plays in it, which is kind of interesting, it's about the NBA's, uh, owner, um, not being a very nice guy, and kind of the lead-up to how that happened, how it came out, and kind of how the LA Clippers kind of went about their owner being a actual psychopath, but also just the troubles that were in the team as a whole itself. Yeah. Anyways, that is about White Chicks. Very funny. That's some various, very cool some stuff on Pride Month, which is fun. Newly added. Um, restoration. We have some dog stuff. Love me some some dog stuff. Not really too much going on, to be honest. Um, yeah, I don't know. But for the movies, well, for the TV show side of things, for the movie side of things, um, we're getting Sir Marshall. Oh yeah, Borat. <laughs> I did recently just watch Borat, and kind of going back to how this movie um, actually was just the most interesting movie I've ever watched. And it still is. I love movies that do like the, uh, well, first of all, it's a very offensive movie. <laughs> but uh, I love movies that have scenes, especially comedies that use real life scenarios, kind of like almost like Impractical Jokers, but 
but in a movie form. This guy, I forget his name. Uh, Sacha. Sa Sa I, I'm going to purchase that. Anyways, he does a very good job at doing that. A lot of his movies are kind of like that, where he performs his acts in front of real life people, but he stays in character and does a good Wow, there's like no new stuff. Semi pro, Grandma's Boy, we talked about before in a video. No new things. A uh, big, this is actually a movie I always recommend to people. If anyone ever asks me, Jake, recommend me a movie that I haven't seen before. People rarely have ever seen Big, which is a very nice Tom Hanks movie. Um, Tom Hanks earned a 1988 to Best Actor Academy Award nomination for this film about a boy who wishes to be big comes true. Um, yeah, if you don't know what a Zoltar is, if you've ever even heard of what a Zoltar is, it's made famous because of this movie. Anyways, love that movie. Always a good one. And then we have the, uh, isn't this the Bob Ross? Oh, no, he's Carl Nargel. I'm gonna butcher that. It looks like he's supposed to be Bob Ross, but I guess I'm mistaken, apparently. It's about a painter, number one public TV painter. I assumed it would be a Bob Ross biopic, but I guess it's not Bob Ross, even though everything looks like it's supposed to be Bob Ross. Um, that's my bad, though. But I think that is about... Oh, I actually still need to watch this movie. <laughs> White Man Can't Jump with your boy, Jack Harlow. Um, I know this movie's gonna be bad. I don't wanna see how bad it really is, because I actually really do enjoy the White Man Can't Jump original movie, which is also still kind of a classic sports movie with your boy, I keep saying your boy, with Woody Harrison, who, I'm sorry, yeah, Woody Harrison, Wesley Snipes, yeah, he balls out, and they both do in this movie, they both do really well, you never would have thought that he would be actually a pretty decent basketball player, but in the movie, he looks good with it. Anything else I can show you guys? Magic Mike, um, Four Things, this is actually a very highly acclaimed movie, it has Emma Stone, Mark Ruffalo, William Dafoe, uh, if, if you don't know who those are, Green Goblin from Spider-Man, Hulk from, obviously, Hulk, and then Emma Stone, you know, I guess you could say Gwen Stacy from Marvel as well, but, um, it's kind of like a, it's a very intense movie, it's a very deep movie, it's a movie you guys kind of have to sit and watch the entire thing of, I mean, it's almost a three hour long movie, so, um, I actually hear it's, it's really good, I think it won some awards, or at least nominations for awards, that's a movie I definitely need to take a closer look at watch myself and of course a classic Jake Gyllenhaal rom-com we love a Jake Gyllenhaal rom-com no I actually hate Jake Gyllenhaal in rom-com movies he's obviously his best work is a dramatic actor but as a as a rom-com guy not my fave but definitely a good actor yeah guys I think that's it I think that's that's kind of all we're gonna get through now some of the HBO stuff which is kind of I've seen before, newly added movies, um, Ocean's 8, another little heist movie, oh brother, we're all about, I, I don't know if this is actually newly put on here, but if it is, that's great, because that's a movie also that everyone needs to see, that's a classic, uh, Cast Away, another great one there, we have the original Karate Kid, well not, just, whoa, 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 not, I meant to say not the original Karate Kid, because it's your boy. I keep saying, <laughs> let's let you guys know how tired I am. Uh, it's as Jaden Smith in the legendary uh, Jackie Chan, which is a interesting movie. I need to watch it again. I haven't seen it since it came out back in 2010. I think I've only ever seen it once or twice. Um, step up. Oh, there's the, uh, the next Karate Kid. They used a, a girl. I think I don't. I don't think this was like, was like the second movie, but after the first original couple of movies with. Oh, I do not remember his name. The guy who originally played the Karate Kid. They uh, switched him out, which is kind of cool. Uh, okay, now I think I think we're good. Okay. Uh, anyways, guys, I have this playing. It's uh, Apple TV, by the way. Apple TV. Uh, in the background just for a little outro and I just want to thank you thank you guys so much for watching this video if you guys did enjoy this video make sure you guys of course hit the thumbs up button it really means a lot to me when you guys show support like you did in the last video that we did uh, doing this and I really hope you guys enjoyed this one as well 
Would you guys comment down below any other movies I should attempt to watch, like if If is good or the new Ghostbusters movie or um, King Kong Godzilla, the new Empire, whatever movie you guys think I should watch. Let me know down in the comments. And yeah, I love you, love you, love you, love you guys. Ooh, fall guys. And I'll see you in the next video very, 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 very soon, right guys?